Hey, Ryan Wakefield here, and this is your social media tip of the week. So one huge frustration if you're managing a church social media account is, where do I get good content from? You know, you feel like, man, I have to come up with something good every day, every week in order to get engagement. And I want to take the pressure off you a little bit. I want to give you some uh, kind of a grid to look at what's already happening at your church so you can repurpose that for your content. I don't want you to have to be stressed out always thinking you have to come up with great content. Here's the thing. Churches crank out a ton of content every single week. You guys are doing a ton of stuff. Think about what's happening in your kids ministry, in your elementary, in early childhood, maybe in your student ministry, in small groups, life groups, Sunday school classes, in your weekend services, in your worship, in your midweek services. Um, you're going through the Bible, books of the Bible, studies, uh, living free groups. Uh, you guys have a ton of content that is already going on. So you, as the manager, don't necessarily have to create hardly anything. You need to leverage and repurpose what's already going on to use that to build relationships outside of your church and to deepen the relationships that you have inside of your church on social media. Because here's the point is that your content is probably really good. I mean, if it's good enough for people to come spend an hour, two hours, three hours out of their week on in person engaging with your content, then that content is probably good enough to do the same thing, accomplish the same mission and vision if you repurpose it the right way on social media. Get it? You're already spending a ton of hard work doing all this content creation. Now you just need to repurpose it so it makes sense and it accomplishes whether you're making disciples, deepening relationships, uh, sharing the gospel. You're doing all that content creation to do that in person. Why not leverage that to do that on social media? So here's the grid. Here's some things that you can look at a content, whether it's your sermon, whether it's your kids curriculum, a kids craft, student ministry, all the what we talked about, go through this grid and see if one of these angles at looking at that content allows you to repurpose it. You ready for this? Let's jump in to these tips. Number one, simply highlight what you did. So this is what a lot of churches do. Uh, you just simply do a highlight, photography, slideshow, video. You just highlight what happened. That's a good first step. Then one of the aspects of the grid that you can look through, just highlight what you did. Second one is show them how to do it. So let's say in your kids ministry, you do a craft. Well, maybe in your repurposing is you're going to go on Pinterest and show them how to do a kids craft or Facebook, whatever social media channel, you show them how to do it. Maybe you're preaching a message and you're going to go on Facebook and talk about how you find points in the Bible to apply to your life. You're going to show them how you did it. So highlight that you did it, show them how to do it, give them the why behind it. So now you're going to take a piece of content that you did and you're going to go on social media and you're going to explain the why. Why is this so important? Why does it align with our vision and our core values? What was the big idea? And you're going to give them the why behind it. That could be an event that you've done, an event that's coming up or something going on in your church. You're going to explain the why behind it. Next one that you can do, angle that you can look at your content to repurpose it, is tell the story behind it. Maybe you're doing something or you have something that's going on in life at your church and you're gonna just simply tell the story behind it. How did that thing come to be? What was the um, inspiration of it? You're gonna share the story behind it. Another angle is share a story from it. So you're having uh, life change happening in a particular ministry or aspect of your church. Share that story. What's God already doing in your church, you're gonna share that story from it. The next one is start a conversation around it. Something's going on and you worked really hard on that message, well, on Monday, man, let's start a conversation around what we talked about on Sunday. Uh, and again, this could be anything. This could be your kids' curriculum. You're talk talking to your kids about uh, obeying their parents on Sunday. Well, let's start a conversation on social media around that Monday through Friday. Parents, what are some things that you're doing that you're helping your children understand the importance of obedience? Start the conversation. You're not having to recreate content. That's already what you're talking about. Maybe you already have some things uh, that you can share in in that conversation, but you're going to start the conversation around it. Next one is invite them to be a part of it. Again, this is kind of like highlight, but uh, forward-looking, what a lot of churches do is just announce events. 
This could be the same thing. You're announcing, you're inviting them. Hey, we had this cool student ministry event. We've got our next one coming up next week. You're invited to be a part of it. So, I mean, we you're familiar with that. And then the last one is adapt the format and redo it. Adapt the format and redo it. You spent all that time creating whatever that content was. How could we change the format and redo it on social media. So you're coming up with these worship songs for kids or you're coming up with this cool skit. What if you had a window uh, Tuesday night where you do a 20 minute Facebook Live, it's your kids pastors or some kids volunteers and you do it specifically for kids in your church. So man, the neighborhood kids are over, you know, this would be an example for my family. Hey, let's turn on and go through this 20 minute program of fun singing, activity, a funny skit. And now you, you've already done that on a Sunday repackage it and redo it on social media. That's where people live. Maybe they didn't get to your church this week. Um, a lot of people didn't, but a lot of people are on social media. You've put the content together. You've got the, the vision and the heart behind it, and you've got an audience. Now you just need to look at your content through different angles, through the grid to figure out the best way to get it out there. So that is this week's social media tip of the week. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this over on socialchurch.co. You can go to the blog, click on the blog post, and I will type out that content, those kind of angles that you can look at your content. Put that in an Evernote, Word document, email. That way when you're getting stuck, when you have that social media block, you can say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go back to Ryan's list. I'm gonna look through that, look through what's going on and find an angle in order to leverage and repurpose your content. When you do, that will take the stress and the load off of you always having to be the content creator, but you're strategically repurposing. And I'm telling you, that's gonna go a long way for you and your church. That's it, that's this week's social media tip of the week. I'll see you guys over at the blog for that content, socialchurch.co. God bless.